Morning, everyone. Uh, oh, I just noticed my screen is a little wonky. Let me fix that real fast. I do this for your benefit, by the way, so you don't have to see my messy house. <laughs> okay, so good morning. Let's just get this elephant out of the way. My hair, right? So I dyed my hair. I normally, like, I do red, you know, uh, but I have my boys with me. <laughs> and they really liked the color on the box. And so they got to choose, and, and I let them choose, and yeah. So anyway, we'll just, that's out of the way now. It'll lighten, it'll, it'll be okay. <laughs> so, hey Loretta, hey Crimson Cricket, hey Sum, oh gosh, I do this all the time. Some Oz mom, there we go. Hey Nellie, happy Friday. Yes, my husband's off work today too. So he's out for a run, and then when he comes back, we're going to make a day of it. We're going to go to the movies and go get Indian food, because the boys never want Indian food. So, here we go. <clears throat> Um, so these are some things that I picked up the other day when I was out with Tanya when we did our dumpster diving. I only got boxes from the dumpster dive, but we went to Goodwill and another thrift store, so I picked up a few things. So, hey, Gary, and hello, Jennifer, and Darren. Hi, hi. Hello, Maggie. Yay. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. Uh, oh, Loretta says I enjoyed the dumpster diving video. She and I are going again Wednesday next week, weather permitting. We're supposed to have rain this weekend, but we're supposed to go next weekend. Okay, so first thing I picked up, which is unusual for me, is some socks. Um, but I think these are going to end up being for me. Um, and can you hear me okay? Let me know, because I don't have my earbuds, like my mic on, because I was trying to hurry. Um, so I didn't. So here we go. Got some. Let me turn that off. Okay. Um, some socks, which is unusual for me. And I actually got a video clip, well, an audio clip. Tell me if you can hear it. Because it made me think of this audio clip. Hang on. If you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. <laughs> You'll know what that's from. One more time, one more time. Tell me if you can hear it. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> one more time. Oh, no, it went away. Here it comes. If you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> it was from Greece. If you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. So I'm being an athletic supporter, and I'm going to use those on me. Darren, you... <laughs> yeah. He's a... Okay. <laughs> the next video queued up and went off. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I don't know why. That just made me think of that. All right, so let me <laughs> start with actual the haul. <clears throat> So I picked up some jewelry, <laughs> fancy that. Um, so I picked up this horse head brooch slash pendant. Uh, it's, there's no markings on it. It's not attracted to the magnet, but I really don't think that it's um, silver. But generally I test it anyway, just to make sure, because I'm not an expert. So <laughs> Leslie says, let's dance, yes. So this horse head brooch, let me screen share some of the research that I found out about it. Hey, 25 viewers, yay. Um, I couldn't find the same exact one, so this is just a Google search. I was looking for it. This one right here with the penny next to it is my listing. I have this horse up. And from what I'm seeing, it's all over the board. Some people are at 8 bucks. Some people are at 88 bucks. You know, well, this one's sterling silver, but... Um, I am probably going to price mine higher in the higher range, like 15 bucks, because there are people that are really into horses, you know, and they're willing to pay up. So I am probably, look at these are so unique. I'll probably price mine on the higher end, you know, maybe closer to, you know, more closer to the 30, $40 range is what I'm going for. My one that I showed you that I had up, I think I have it up for like 80 bucks. Cause I, I didn't see anything like it. So generally, when I when I do that, I, and I don't see something like it, I'll price it high, cause it's small and I can wait. All right, next up is this Gianni, it's marked Gianni, um, strawberry brooch. I am fueled by coffee this morning. Here we go. I just got a fresh cup, Mr. Bump. Okay, so here we go. Strawberry, I found, I think, one like it. Let me screen share. And I don't think I told you what I paid for that, did I? Hang on, I'll come back to it. So this is similar. This was just a regular search. Same thing with strawberries. 
the prices are all over the place. Look, same one, 11 bucks, 20 bucks. Um, here's the same one from someone in Canada for 10 bucks. I will probably, again, like I say, price mine a bit higher, probably closer to the $20 mark. Um, because there are people that like strawberries. I love things with strawberries on it. I just can't keep it because I'm gonna become a hoarder, you know? All right, so I'm looking in the chat real quick. Hello, hello. Okay, not getting any video. Girl Up North says, okay, refresh, refresh. So next up, let's see, where did I pay for these? Where's my receipt? I blotted my lipstick on the back just for you. Wares, jewelry. 99 cents, $1.99. 419. What did I spend 419 on? That doesn't sound right. I wouldn't do that. I need to check my receipt more carefully next time because I know I wouldn't do that unless it was something super awesome. But anyway, we'll say it was five bucks for every all the jewelry, maybe six bucks. So about a buck or, or so a buck fifty for each. There, there. And then this one. Good morning, Diane. This necklace kind of baffled me, which is why I got it. It was really cool. Come on now. Here's the pendant part on it. It's made to look like ivory, but I don't think it is. I, I mean, it feels like plastic, maybe. I think. So there's this, but then the chain, and then this part right here is not magnetic at all. There are no markings though. Come here, magnet. So, like, not magnetic, not magnetic, no markings. So, I mean, that doesn't mean it's gold, but it means, you know, like, I take it to the next level. You say, maybe it's Jade, she, um, some Oz mom says. So, I'm going to test this. Here's the deal I'm going to test this. I'm going to test this. And then, if it comes back as being gold, I'm going to have to take it to somebody to look at, to see. I mean, I don't know. That's the thing. Again, I'm not an expert. I like jewelry a lot, and I like learning more about it. That's a new one for me. The clasp, though, is, is newish. That's the thing, too. The clasp is like a new, like, kind of lobster-type clasp. But then the chain is a double chain, which is unique, you know? So it's got this double chain on it. It's really cool. Um... Darren says, am I right in saying ivory cannot be burned? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Like legally? Or tech? I, that's a good question. Something I don't know. So again, I don't know. The, I didn't include this in my estimate of what I'm going to um, charge for everything because I have to see what it's made of, you know, or if it's just costume jewelry. So it's a question mark on that one. And then this is another pair. So again, everything, the jewelry probably ended up being about, you know, a buck, buck fifty a piece averaged out. These are some Mexican, it's got, you know, this abalone like oyster shell inside. And the marking is 925 Mexico, something, something. And the, the prices on these go all over the place too. My husband's about to come in. Hang on, let me unlock the door for him. I locked him out. <laughs> I'm hiding from you, Randy. Are you hiding them from me? I'm hiding them from you. <laughs> He's sweating now. He came in from his run. Okay, so here's this abalone earrings. And they, and like I say, they can go either way, just depending on the setting and the style and everything. But what I'm seeing is still pretty good, you know. This is on Etsy. And anywhere from 15 bucks on up, like 45 These are vintage screwbacks. So, I mean, these are not super fancy. So I'll probably put, man, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll probably put them around the $20 mark, maybe $25 with best offer. Generally, on Etsy, things will do a little bit better. But if I put best offer on eBay, then someone can send me an offer, you know. Stop screen share. So that's those. They're really cute, vintagey. And then the next one is this cool I almost didn't get it but I'm glad I did it's metal so it's a metal brooch this open work and then on the back on the pin part it says made in and then the the made in part and then it says R M A N so wherever that is I don't know so I did a little bit of research let me pull that up for you 
Here it comes. Let's see, that's still abalone. Abalone. So this is the only other one made in R A R M A N that I found. And it's this brooch, you know, the same kind of backing. And this one is, you know, 19 pounds 81. So what is that? I mean, it's about the same now because the price is. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I mean, and again, same thing with butterflies. People collect them. Um, and the prices are everywhere. So there are similars anywhere from 10 bucks to 50 bucks, 90 bucks. You know, I guess it just kind of depends. But this one's pretty unique, I think. So what's that? Why? Why that there? Let's see. Made in Romania? Possibly. Or because maybe they didn't want to fit the whole Romania on there. So I'll, I'll probably... I don't think I settled on a price yet. Thirty dollars at least. So, because with with the different butterfly brooches, people are going to see one and just be like, "That's the one I need. That one I like more than any of the other ones out there." And again, with the jewelry, it's small, so I don't mind sitting on it. I don't literally sit on it, but I don't mind putting it in the store, you know, my storage area, and keeping it because that wouldn't hurt. <laughs> okay, what's next? Here we go. Where did it go? It's kind of behind here. So this I picked up. <clears throat> this looked like that. Um, there's different kinds of pottery, like California pottery, McCoy's. So it looked like that styled. Um, and it's TC made in USA. And it's this buzzard. And he's an ashtray. And I just thought he was so cool. I spent three bucks on him, which was maybe more than I should have in retrospect. But I thought, okay, I'm going to get him. He's this buzzard. There we go. There we go. Let me show you what I found out about him. Application. Here we go. So, and the TC ended up standing for, I can't remember now. It, it, it'll pop up. See here, someone's, you know, selling him for around 30 bucks with best offer. Um, another one. These are, are these sold? No, these are not sold. Around the $15 mark, so he wasn't going for as much as I thought. Here's a sold one on Etsy, and I pulled it up with the flipper tools, and he sold for 19 bucks. Okay, that's a little better. So Treasure Craft, that's what the TC stands for. Treasure Craft is another one of those like McCoys and uh, California pottery. It's got this not shiny glaze. I don't know how to describe that. It's not exactly bisque, but there's a whole, I mean, like, there's a whole way they make it and the way they glaze it. I don't know how to describe it. There's a word I'm sure for it. So I'll probably put him on the higher end. I'll probably put him 20 with best offer. So that's him. And then next, who do we have? I have to look at my research so I go in order or I'll get all mixed up. Okay, that's him again. There's a sold one on eBay Mexico uh, for 10 bucks. All right, so here we go. This is something I picked up. Ta-da, Harry Potter. The buck 99 mat. That's a word for it. And this is a stationary set. It's got a little address book. Something's missing. There's a stamp. This is like a little photo album, some stickers, some envelopes, HP on there. And then there's a bitty drawer down here with paper in it. If I can get it to slide out, it's not wanting to come. So there's some stationary paper down there. This is not going for a ton, but that's okay because I'm not selling it. <laughs> Harry Potter. Okay, um, but I'll show you what, it's, what I found anyway. <laughs> but again, yeah, I'm not selling it. <laughs> so here we go. This is a Harry Potter stationery kit. This is on uh, Amazon. Probably new, you know, new and used. New 25 bucks from 25 bucks. So if you see one, <laughs> uh, either keep it or sell it <laughs> or send it to me. <laughs> um, and you know, I kick myself. I need to go through... Because I had a whole bunch of Harry Potter stuff a long time ago when it first came out. And then I was like getting older. And I was like, I'm too grown up for this stuff. And I think I got rid of I had bookends and I had some other stuff. And I'm like, now I need to go through my things and see if I still have them or if I really did get rid of them. Why would I do that to myself? I don't know. Okay, next is a mug. I got a few mugs. And I keep thinking, I'm going to get out of mugs. And then I'll have a mug sell for really good money. And then I say, forget it. I'm going to keep selling mugs. Uh, they're, I mean, they're kind of a pain, not really a pain to store, but they take up space. But you can get a good profit on them. 
So here's a London and Herod's mug with the um, palace guards on it. No chips or cracks or anything. It's that thin bone china, and it's not going for as much as I thought it might. But let me share what I found out. What did I pay out? I paid, what's the price on that? Oh, 79 cents. Okay, well, for 79 cents, you know, you can take a take a punt, as they say, in the old in the old London land. But that's not what they call it. I don't know what I'm thinking. All right, so here are some different <laughs> Google search haired mugs, you know, depending. Four bucks. Who are you and why are you doing that to me? So here's one that's sold, same one for $14.95. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, seeing as I spent 79 cents on it, that's a good $10 profit, you know, or so after fees and everything. So I'll probably put it up. Um, let's see. I'll probably put it up closer to the $20 mark because I didn't see another one with the guards on it. So it'll probably, maybe more. Maybe I'll put it up at the $25 mark with best offer. Knowing me, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Nellie says, I can't resist mugs either. I know, right? Because then you like 79 cents or you buy it in a garage sale for a quarter. And then, you know, most of the time people at garage sales are just get these mugs out of here, right? And then you can flip them for really decent money. So it's amazing. Then, let's try to get the right next one. I saw this one. I paid 79 cents again. This is a heavy duty Harley Davidson mug. And I've never seen a Harley Davidson mug like this before. I've seen just like the normal logo. Yeah. So there's this one. And it's really nice. The images are, you know, they're not scratched up or anything. Oh, I'm going to lose power. Hang on. Ow. I just clonk myself on the head. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. So Harley Davidson mug. Let me pull this up for you to see. Here comes. Here comes. So this is a, no, yeah, sold, 15 bucks. Um, but I didn't see another one just like it. Let me make sure I'm not, okay, that's the Harrods one. Oh, actual, okay, this one didn't end up selling for that. That's right, they took a best offer, and it's, the best offer was 10 bucks. So, eh. But I'll probably still put mine up closer to the $20 mark because I didn't see another one like it. So exactly, one which lady says, I think you get more than that. I think so too. So I'll, I'll probably put it, what do you think, $24.99 with best offer? Because, yeah, like I say, I didn't see another one. I just saw that one sold. The next thing I picked up was this mug, which I'm not feeling bad about at all. $0.69, cents, Innocent Blood. I, know, I remember the movie, so I was like, oh, that's different. So Innocent Blood was this vampire movie. Um, and so it's an official Warner Brothers 1992. It's got a bite taken out of it. I can't find one. So that makes me really excited. Uh, let me show you just nothing, I guess, because this is the cover of the movie. So you might remember that if you see the cover of the movie. It was this vampire movie with this, uh, what is she? She's French, right? Um, and it was sort of like a, yeah, comedy, like a dark comedy sort of vampire movie. But I can't. I, there was not another mug out there. So when I when that happens, I go high because I think somebody out there, this is like their favorite movie, you know, or cult classic type thing. Uh, so I will, gosh, I don't know. Is 50 bucks crazy? Maybe I will. Like 50 bucks with best offer just because I don't see one out there. Maybe I should do more. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's that. <clears throat> the next one... These are kind of a dime a dozen lately. Vampires and zombies got a lot more money, Kathy. Let's see. Oh, Angie says, be cool if you had the movie, too, and make it a lot. That's a good idea. I'll look around for it um, on the DVD, in the DVD section. Yeah, good idea. Because then I could ask for more. <laughs> so here we go. Yeah, Maggie says, quoting time, you can't sell high if you don't list high. That's true. This is true. So this is a, a Wedgwood... Beatrix Potter, and there's a bunch out there, honestly. Uh, but this one's really nice shape, no chips or cracks or anything. And let me screen share. Here we go. These are sold listings. So 10 bucks, 345, 19 bucks. Um, the design's a little, mine looks a little more like this one. Um, the design's a little bit different on that one. So yeah, I mean the, the profit's not gonna be as great. I paid a dollar. 
for it. So I'll probably list it for, you know, 15 bucks or so. Maybe more. $17.99? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wait. Nellie says, I wait. Oh, I've got that waiting to lot with some other Beatrix Potter stuff. That's a good idea, too. Yeah, it depends on the graphics, one which lady says. So we'll see. I just thought, well, it was in good shape. I'll pick it up. Then the next one I love. This I love first of all, I love Odagiri mugs. Odagiri mugs generally sell really well. I paid $1.99 for this one. So apparently Goodwill knows Odagiri sells. But take a look. It's this gentleman cat courting his lady, and they're dancing. And there's some flowers on the back. It's a Hope Cartwright design on Odagiri. And I think I found one, but it was too far gone. Like eBay wouldn't pull it up. So I'm going to price it really, really high. <laughs> so here we go. Um, let's see what I found out. Similar. <clears throat> so these are sold. Um, Odagiri cat mug, $17.95, $6.95, 20 bucks. Generally, Odagiri sells pretty well. These, yeah, and these cats, these are all sold here. So it's kind of all over the place. But I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask for a lot on it. See, here is this one. This is it. But when I do the search for it, it doesn't pop it up. You know, here, watch. I'll show you what I did. I'll copy their title, visit page. Of course, it's going to take me somewhere else. And then I plug in the actual title. And there's nothing you know so I yeah I'm gonna go pretty high I'll probably go closer to the $30 mark maybe more um maybe I'll do 35 bucks with best offer because somebody's gonna want these dancing cats you know let's see Susan some Oz mom says I think your butterfly is made in Germany here's one on eBay okay I'm gonna pull it up let's see eBay Yay, thank you. <laughs> Kathy, thank you. My hair, my hair. Oh, boy. <laughs> if you missed the beginning. <laughs> Hello. Well, it's not pulling it up. Hang on. Are you seeing this? Or no, you're seeing me. Sorry. Okay. I'll have to do some more research on that one later because I'm... Okay, screen share already. Yeah, I plugged in what you sent, and I'm not seeing it. Okay. Well, I'll look some, some more for it later. Then the next thing, are you ready, Randy? Almost. He's almost ready. Okay. The next thing, oops. Okay. Ah, drama. Help. Stop. <laughs> I need to eat probably. Uh, I picked up this Bugs Bunny mug, 99 cents. And again, these the Looney Tunes mugs are hit or miss. This one was okay, but I figured 99 cents would be okay. Let me screen share. And this is one, it's going for 1866. So I'll probably put that around the same, you know, 1799, 20 bucks with best offer. And then I gotta hurry because we're going to the movies. Randy has a day off. Okay, here is the next thing I got. I'm reaching. Uh, okay, so this I picked up at just like a little charity shop. Oh, thanks, Samoz Mom. I'm gonna copy that. And it's a Lego sorting tray. Now, I have these. I bought these for my boys. And just so you know, <laughs> these lids that are here don't fit this tray. These lids are too big for this tray. This is like a the lid goes with the boxes, these tubs. And the tray is just like a sorting tray. So why they did this, I have no idea. Because as a, when I bought them and brought them home, I was super annoyed that my boys were sorting their Legos and then had these random lids that didn't fit anything, you know? So <laughs> I'm going to be keeping this just to sort. And I have two other lids. So I have three of these lids. I know, right? Randy's like, why would they do that? So I have three of these lids. I'm going to just see if I can put the three lids up. Maybe somebody has a tub and they need lids. <laughs> why did they do that? Um, hang on. I pulled them up, but I'm just going to skip that part because we got to move it along. <clears throat> Pardon. The next thing I picked up, I got it because it has that American Girl logo on it. And these are American Girl, they're like paper dolls. And these are not going for that much. Uh, and let me show you what I found. Yes, sort my jewelry jars. I worked on that the other day too. I was sorting jewelry. Come on, screen share. 
so here we have it, you know, $6.99 best offer accepted. It's just not, they're not going for that much. So I made, I don't know, I have a couple dolls that are, you know, in kind of messed up shape. So they may, I may just put this with, you know, one of those dolls as a, a Brucey bonus, as my old friend Ken says. So next up is, is something that actually Tanya convinced me to get. <laughs> here we go. This, it was sitting on the counter. They were about to go reshell, like rehang it and put it up. It's a Hardwood Classics ginormous, ginormous 4X New York Knicks snap front, like workout jersey type of thing. New York Knicks. It's, it's giant. And so at the time, we couldn't really find the same one, but I found it. And we were thinking like, oh, I'm going to list it for like 200 bucks, but I'm not so sure now. Maybe I still will. So here is, these are listings on eBay. Someone is selling same one for $39.95. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> and then a couple others. Let's see. This is the same one for 65 bucks. So I don't know. I mean, I may still put it, put it up high. And just wait, you know, because I can. And just, you know, it'll fold up and I'll put it away. Is that everything? That may be everything. Okay, so, yeah, that's it. All right, thanks so much, you guys, for coming over. Oh, I am so close to 7,000 subscribers. So if you have not, please subscribe. And I'm going to do a giveaway. Uh, last time I did a jewelry jar that I gave away. This time I'm going to make like a goodie bag where I pull from costume jewelry and maybe a little bit from my nicer stuff, you know, just to make a nice goodie bag, jewelry bag to give away for fun, right? Because who doesn't like sparkly things, right? So, yes, thank you so much. And I'm so grateful that I've even gotten this far with the channel. And honestly, I feel like most of the people I talk to, like they come, you come in the chat or you leave comments in the comment section. You know, I feel like I know you guys. Like I'm talking to my friends all morning. So I'm really... I'm grateful for all the support and the love. And so thanks again, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.